All right, what up, YouTube? What up, boxing fans? I just caught Tyson Fury's comeback fight versus Joey Abel. Um, you know, solid performance from Tyson Fury. He looked good. He well, he didn't physically look good, but you know, the speed was there. Uh, solid jab. You know, he kept he st stuck with the jab in that fight. Uh, definitely kept Joey Abel at bay. He didn't really let him get inside too much. It was a little bit of a scare. I think it was in the second round. He got hit with a shot, stagger back a few times in the second, and even uh, when they, when they were caught trading in the third. But Joey's a, Joey Bell's mistake was he, he got in there, trading with Tyson Fury, even when he took his power. Uh, remember there was a knockdown in the uh, the third round off a beautiful straight right hand, uh, right you know, preceding a double jab from Tyson Fury. And it just caught him by surprise. He went down. And, and right then and there, Joey Bell should have understood, you know, I got to be, be aware for this guy's power. And instead, he went in there. He tried to catch him with something big and leave himself wide open. Instead of sort of finding smart uh, and looking for the perfect opening, uh, because he does have power. He's got solid power. And he staggered Tyson Fury back. And he, he just decided to, you know, let's just go to war and fuck it, right? He was just like, let's do this. And that's not how you fight Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, um, he's got a lot of heart and uh, he's got a lot of weight, you know? <laughs> he knows how to fight dirty, too. So you, you don't want to get into a, a backstreet brawl with him. You know, uh, you don't want to get into a brawl with Tyson Fury. He'll, he'll beat you that way. And, um, you know, it's pretty tough to outbox someone with, with his uh, height and range. He's got good long arms, you know. He he uses straight punches, um, and uh, and he can fight on the inside too. You know, very underrated. Tyson Fury, this guy just needs to get in shape, man. You know, he can't he can't last like this against all his opponents. You know, they're talking about making him uh, fight with Derek Chisora. Hopefully, if the, if Chisora wins tonight uh, or or today, you know, that's an interesting fight. Uh, you know, quickly, just a, a couple of good things about Tyson Fury. Uh, he's very good with range, you know, against a guy like Joey Bell. He knew he didn't want to let Joey Bell be comfortable at his own range. He wanted to keep him on the outside here. And he'd even push him back with uh, with uh, his left hand, um, you know, make, made sure to snap a jab and um, throw the right hand behind it. Um, you know, he, he, he even pushed back a couple times. He knows how to fight on the inside, use his forearms a bit, rough him up. But he knows when to get on the inside. Not when it's advantageous to uh, his opponent. But, but you know, he, he also is good at holding. You know, sometimes he gets caught in there. and He knows when to hold. He knows how to recover. Uh, I believe he was hurt in the second round. But Tyson Fury, again, he held on. And he got his wits about him. And he, and he went right back in there. And to his normal game plan, snap the jab, go to the body, um, solid right hand, straight right hand, and, and fight at his range. And he did a very good job controlling range, even out of shape. Uh, he still looked good, uh, boxing-wise. Now, uh, if, if Joey Bell was a, a lot tougher opponent, and like Steve Bunn said, um, this was the kind of test where, you know, this was a good opponent where he can, he can you know, take him out early. A tougher guy would have gave Tyson Fury a lot more problems, especially in the shape that he was in. I don't think he would have been able to last several rounds. Man, I'd really like to see uh, Seth Mitchell go over the UK. I, I think he'd uh, he gave it give David Price some work. I think he'd give Tyson Fury some work as well. Um, but I, I'd like to see Tyson Fury in there with other Americans. This is a good thing with Joey Bell. I'd like to see him. You know, get in there with a Deontay Wilder. Get in there with uh, a Chris Ariola. Those would be a heck of a fight. Especially if Ari Ariola loses to Bermain Stavern. I think that would be a great fight as well. Let me know what you guys think about that. It is what it is. Peace out. Take care.